Good afternoon and welcome to Cade's Cove. Yes, here in the great state of Tennessee, you've got the beautiful Cade's Cove driving loop that we're gonna do. You can see beside us, there is a road here where people can drive along and enjoy the, the scenic scenes off in the distance here. This is, this is a pretty cool little, neat little area. A lot of little areas to, to look at, a lot of things. We're here for the scenery. Look off in the distance there. They don't call these the Great Smoky Mountains for nothing. Wow. All right, so we're gonna get in our car, do a little driving and see what we can see. We might get out here and there, just like we did now, and take a look at some roadside scenery. But for now, let's get back in the car and head out. All right, so we're just driving along this loop here. Looking at these scenes, man, that is such a, a nice scenery over there. And over here, and over here you can see there's a big open space here where a lot of times you can see animals and such. If we see any, I'll, I'll zoom in. I'll let you see them too. Oh, look at that rock. Scenic rocks. Scenic trees. Scenic roads. You never know what's around the next corner. No, it's, it's nothing. Same, same old. Same old, same old. Man, look at these views. That is something right there. Pan over this way. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful over there. Going on up these twisty roads here. Pretty steep, pretty steep here. Maybe we can see a little bit of that drop off. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we'll see it. Oh. We're moving now. Whoa. Look at this grand view we've got here of Old Cade's Cove. You can walk out in the middle of it. Yeah, that's pretty grand right there. Just goes on, just goes on and on and on. Wow. Man, oh man, look at this view. It just goes on. It just goes, I mean, it really, it just goes on and on and on. It seems like anyways. It's pretty awesome. Fairly incredible. But, uh, anyways, oh, it's Cade's Cove, right? This is, what's, this is what Cade's Cove is about. These crazy views. I don't know who Kate is, but they picked a good one. They found a good spot. I don't know if they're still here or not. They might not still be here. If they left, I don't know what they found that was better than this. They may have made a mistake by leaving. I don't know if this really puts things into perspective, but look how small Jessica and JR look way down there. They look so tiny. They look really tiny over there. How weird is that? Just doing their thing. Taking their pictures, looking awesome. And that big giant view, wow. Here, look, whoop. look, there they are. Just walking along. Oh, there they are, whoop, oh, oh, there they are. Yep, there they are, here they come. They did it, holy moly. These views, they just don't stop. They just don't even stop. Man, whoa. My bad. <clears throat> Little lead foot Lucy over here. Sometimes on old Cade's Cove, on the old loop, you can stop off on the side and do a little adventuring. 
little side adventure. I think that's what we're gonna do now. I got some trails and stuff for some different, like uh, historic, maybe buildings, structures and whatnot, but this time there was a sign that said something about falls and if there's a fall, James will fall for it. So this is not the falls. We saw a sign for some falls, but as soon as we parked, we heard water, so we came to it. This is what we found. Oh, watch our step through here. Oh, we're really trekking through the woods now. Nature, yeah, we're doing it. Well, even though we really want to do this thing, we did not prepare for a two and a half mile hike, three to four hours. Moderately difficult with no mess, no restrooms or drinking water, but that's okay. We'll still kind of check out this bridge over here. We'll walk on that, take a look at the water and the surrounding things, and then we'll get back to the old Cades Cove Loop Motor Trail, which is just uh, right over there. But anyways, let's go look at this bridge. Yep. Not this time. We're gonna go across this bridge. Actually, we already did. We're on the other side. We gotta go back to the other side where the car is. Ugh. But as, uh, as far as bridges go, it's, it's a pretty nice bridge. Yeah, we're back in the car. We're making our way back through the old driving portion of the loop. Yeah, that was a bit too much of a hike for us right now. We were not prepared for that. We didn't bring proper tools to be able to finish something like that. Back to the trail. Not a whole lot to look at in this area, just kind of just driving through the woods, which is still nice and relaxing, but it's not really like, uh, you know, those big wide open meadows that we're used to. It's pretty steep, as notated by that there. Oh, we can't see. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty steep. At least there's Plenty of trees on the side to catch us, just in case. So, uh, one piece of advice, one little tip I can give to you. If you are gonna be filming or taking pictures, I would say get on the driver's side, because um, most of the stuff is over that away. Not really as much on this, oh, well I'd say that. As soon as I say that, there's like a thing over here on our side. Ooh, look at this. But like I was saying, most of your views are off to the other side as the one-way loop goes. Get on the driver's side to see all the stuff on the far side there, but we're on the right side of the road right now. And we did come across this building. I don't know what it is. This looks like an old cabin here out in old Cades Cove. It's pretty cool looking. Let's do some exploring. I don't know if this place is open per se, but it's definitely uh, pretty cool looking. Look at that, look at the rocks that it's sitting on. That's pretty neat. And then you got the old chimney there, that's cool. You can kind of see how the building is built. It's pretty neat, it's pretty neat. So I think we're gonna go, oh, Jessica's going inside, oh my gosh. Ooh. All right guys, let's go inside this old rickety building here. Oh man, it's pretty neat though. Colors, colors look nice in here. Colors look pretty good. Huh. You got your little building in here. Oh, it's so dark. Might need to make some adjustments here. Whoa. 
Wow. So this is what it's like in this old building. You can really hear it. You can hear the oldness in here. Warm up by the fire. Yeah. I don't know, there is an upstairs, but I don't think we should go up it. I'm a little scared. Oh, wow. The way is blocked. Whoa. Yeah, I want to go up here. Well, it is blocked, so I'm coming back down. Right. Oh boy, that wasn't good. Somebody slipped in the mud. That's probably not good. Kids. So I'll be careful. Oh, when I come out here to go around the mud, so I don't make the same mistake. Oh no, that's horrible. All right, back in the old car, heading back down the old trail here. Circle, loop, loop, Cades Cove loop, motor thing. Anyways, you can see I'm back sitting on the passenger side. This is our view on this side, while the driver's side has that view over there. I mean, I'd say it's pretty comparable, right? This view, to that view. Hmm, there is all kinds of neat things to stop for. But you don't have to stop for all of them. You can just kind of pick and choose. If you did stop for all of them, you'd probably be here for, I don't know, an all day event, I would say. But there are some neat old buildings here. This one, this is number 16, called Tipton Place. Ooh, water. It's got a nice water feature. That's nice. Looks well built. Looks like it's holding up pretty good. Got a little algae on the roof. That'll clean off pretty easy though. And then back through the woods here. How did, you know, I had a question. How did these settlers get back here and what made them pick these spots? I mean, I know the views are nice, but how did they get back here in the first place? What brought them to this area? That is a question that I don't know the answer to that, but I would like to. So if anybody knows, let us know down in the comments below. Why are these people here? I mean, they're not anymore, but what, what brought them here? Little bit of a traffic jam here. Ooh, another water feature. Look at that, that is so beautiful. I really enjoy that. But, um, huh, looky here, another water feature. And, whoop, there it goes. She gone. Some of these hills are pretty steep. It probably does not even look like it in the video here, but. The vehicle sure does feel it. More water features. Oh, and Carter Shields cabin coming up here. If you look off to the right here, you can see there's Carter Shields cabin way back there. It's a nice little place to visit, hang out in the in the cut. Nice little place in the cut there. And back we go into the woods. Man, what a view out there. Again, with the views on the driver's side. If you look to the right, there's a, got some woods, there's some trees down, look at there. That's at least interesting. Some hills back there. So, you know, stuff. But really, the real views are over to the left. It's pretty nice. Yeah, that's, that's another view on the, on the left there. Wow. Well, it looks like we're going back in the woods. Ooh, another water feature. Gonna, ooh, look beautiful. One thing I've noticed is there's a lot of felon trees, fallen trees, fell trees, whatever you call it. I think it's called felon, felon. trees. Felon, are they bad trees? Just because somebody's a felon doesn't mean they're bad. Does it? There, we saw some animals. Did you see those deer? Real live ones, not animatronic. I don't think. They were really good if they were animatronic. Like they were a good animatronic because they looked pretty real. I think one was even pooping. Well, there we go. That was our little drive through Cades Cove, the old Cades Cove motor loop. Um, so we did it. And it was cool. We saw a few animals, even showed you one. Um, I think it was a real one, so that's pretty good. Um, but it took, uh, how long did that take? I don't even know what time we got here. Yeah, I don't know either. 
So it took a little while to drive through, and we didn't even stop that much. We stopped at a couple of places. I would say a solid hour, right? Yeah, so if you really want to stop at a bunch of places, give it a couple hours. But if you just want to drive through, you can probably do it in maybe 45 minutes or something. Make sure and check out Cade's Cove because it's a classic and you got to do it. And it's beautiful no matter what time of day you go. I think if you come like in the early morning or late in the evening, just before they close, they close at dusk, open at dawn. That's when most of the animals are out uh, is during like the early morning or late evening. Um, if you go in the midday, you know, you might see some animals, but in any case, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's a neat thing to do. Um, thank you guys for coming along. We appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool. Cool.